to study time, a televised home learning program produced by Rwanda Education Board. Hello, welcome back to my lesson. I'm teacher John. I'll be taking you through mathematics, senior four, unit five, linear equation and inequalities. But before that, let us have an activity. Please get your exercise book and pen and solve this equation in the set of all your numbers. The first equation, we have 4x plus 8 equals 4. 2, 2x minus 6 equals 1 plus 2 times x plus 3. Number 3, 2x plus 10 equals 5 plus 1 times 5 plus 2x. The last, 3x equals 0. You have just a minute to finish this activity, then we make the correction chalkboard. Go on. You have a few seconds. Are you done? Thank you very much. Okay, now follow your chalkboard. You are going to solve our equations. Number one, for x, plus 8 equals 4. So, we have a 2, isolate, isolate for x and uh, 8. It means we'll be having for x plus 8 minus 8, which is equal to 4 minus 8. So, you remain with 4x on the left hand side, which is equal to minus 4. To get x, we divide both sides by 4. And they'll be having x equals minus 1. So the set of solution is minus 1. Difficult? Not at all. Number 2. 2x minus 6 equals 1 plus 2 times x plus 3. We have 2x minus 6, which is equal to 1. We have to expand here. 2x, 2 times 3, t is 6. So we move x to the left-hand side. I'll be having 2x minus 2x, which is equal to 1 plus 6. Moving this minus 6 to the, to the right-hand side, it will be positive 6. Here I have a 0x, which is equal to 13. Are we together? Thank you. 0 times any real number is always 0. It means for all real number x. 0 times x is equal to 0. And 0 is different from 13. It means this equation is impossible. Is impossible even if you take x to be 13 divided by 0, you know divided by 0 is impossible. So this is infinity, and infinity is not a real number. Are we together? Infinity is not a real number. That's why for our equation, the set of solution is empty set. Or you can write it like this. Nothing inside Empty set. Are we together? Thank you very much. Now, number three, we have 2x plus 10 
equals 5 plus 1 times 5 plus 2x. So it will be having 2x plus 10, which is equal to 5 plus 5 plus 2x. Moving 2x to the left hand side, I'll be having 2x minus 2x, which is equal to 5 plus 5 is 10 minus 10. 0x equals 0. We have another situation which looks like that, the, the previous one, but there is a difference. For any real number, x, 0 times x is always equal to 0. And the 0, of course, equals 0. For this kind of equation, where we have the right hand side equal to the left hand side, we have 0, 0, it means any real number verify the given equation. Therefore, the set of solution is the set of real numbers. This is always true. The set of solution is the set of real numbers. The last, we have 3x equals 0. Simple. We divide both sides by 3. I'll be having x, which is equal to 0. And the set of solution is 0. Are these answers similar to, your, to yours? Check your answers and you compare these ones on chalkboard. Are they the same? Yes? Thank you very much. That's wonderful. That's very wonderful. But observe all these equations. In these equations, we have only one variable. The variable for us is x. And the power of that variable is 1. When there is nothing, means there is 1. So all these equations can be written as ax plus b, which is equal to 0. And this is known as linear equation in one variable or one unknown. That is the purpose of our lesson. Then on unit 5, we are going to start these linear equations. Are we together? Yes. Equation and inequalities with one unknown. And we start by linear equations. with one unknown. Linear equation with one unknown, the general form of a linear equation with one unknown or variable is ax plus b equals zero. That is the general form of a linear equation with one unknown. For us, a, B are real numbers, but A must be different from zero. Are we together? Are we together? Thank you very much. We are going to discuss this form of a linear equation in one variable. In mathematics, when you are discussing, it is not 
telling stories. It is not telling stories. We have our equation AX plus B equals zero. If A is different from zero and B different from zero, are they having AX plus B equals zero? AX is equal to minus B, then X is equal to minus B divided by A. Are we together? And you have a unique solution, minus B divided by A. Difficult? Not at all. Then, if A is still different from zero, and B equals zero, we'll be having AX plus zero, since B equals zero, which is equal to zero. It means you have AX which is equal to zero. If we divide the both sides by A, I'll be having X which is equal to zero. And of course, the set of solution is the single term zero. Are we together? Are we together? Very nice. Thank you very much. We continue our discussion. If A is equal to zero, and B is different from zero. I'll be having zero X plus B equals zero, isn't it? Then zero X equals minus B, and then X is equal to minus B divided by zero, and this is infinity. And this is not a real number, of course. So for this kind of equation, it is impossible. The set of solution is empty set, as we did before. The last case of our discussion is when A equals zero and B equals zero. If a equals zero and B equals zero, I'll be having AX plus B, which is equal to zero, means zero X plus zero equals zero, zero X is equal to zero. And as I said before, zero times any real number, X, this is equal to zero. So for this case, the set of solution is R. Is it clear? Difficult? Not at all. So these are different cases, cases for a linear function, a linear equation in one unknown or one variable. Then we have different kinds of equation depending on a linear equations. For instance, equation of the form equation of the form AX plus B times CX plus D equals zero. If you observe this equation, we have uh, two factors, and each factor is a linear equation in one variable. So to solve this kind of equation, depending on equation, or depending on linear equation in one variable, as the right hand side is equal to zero, you equate each factor, then you solve for x. Therefore, solving this equation, I'd be having ax plus b times cx plus d equals zero. As I said, the right hand side is zero. 
we have a x plus b the first factor d is equal to zero or c x plus d equals zero solving for x i'll be having a x which is equal to minus b a x is equal to minus b divided by a and here c x is equal to minus d dividing both sides by c I'll be having x which is equal to minus d over c. Are we together? Of course, as we have a on denominator and c on the denominator, here a must be different from zero and c must be different from zero. Are we together? Are we together? Thank you very much. Now, for this situation, the set of solution will be minus b divided by a and minus d divided by c. I think this is very clear. Let me give you an example for that. Example. Solve in the set of real numbers. 2x minus 3 times x plus 1 equals 0. We have a two factors. The solution 2x minus 3 times x plus 1 equals 0. I'll be having 2x minus 3 equals 0 or x plus 1 equals 0. Are we together? Are we together? Very nice. So, solving for x, I'll be having 3 divided by 2, and here, x is equal to minus 1. Is it difficult? Not at all. So, the set of solution is minus 1, and, ma and the 3 divided by, by 2. Are we together? Thank you very much. Now, there we have two linear factors. You can have more than two factors. The way of solving such kind of equation is still the same. Of course, when the right-hand side is equal to zero. If it is not zero, you have to expand. Another example, we can have minus one plus x, x minus the root of 2 plus no times x plus 5 equals 0. We have three linear factors. Solving this is not different from this one. I'll be having minus 1 plus x equals 0 or x minus the root of 2 equals 0 or x plus 5 is equal to 0. And here, x is equal to 1, or x equals the root of 2, and here, x is equal to minus 5. Finally, the set of solution, you list all these numbers, you have minus 5, let's start by the smallest, 1, and you end by the root of 2. They are done. Difficult? No. Okay. We have another kind of equation depending on linear equation in one variable. That is fractional or relation equation. This equation is of the form, general form. We have AX plus B divided by CX plus D, which is equal to zero. You see, on the numerator, I have 
a linear equation, and in the denominator we have also a linear equation. Of course, this equation is possible if A is different from zero and C is different from zero. So that you can have linear equation in one variable. To solve this kind of equation, remember, dividing by zero is impossible. So we have to state the condition of existence or existence condition means we find the domain for our equation. The domain is simple. We assume denominator to be different from zero. Finally, solving this equation, we'll be having ax plus b equals zero, provided that this denominator cx plus d is different from zero. Are we together? Are we together? Thank you very much. Now when we solve, we'll be having x which is equal to minus b divided by a, of course, x is different from minus d divided by c. Finally, our set of solution will be minus b divided by a. Pay attention on this. Denominator must be different from zero for any kind of equation in a fractional form. Let me give you an example. And immediately you take your exercise book for the next activity. Example. Solve in a set of real numbers, of course. 3x minus 7 divided by x plus 1 equals 0. It is not different from what you have there. Is it clear? The equation is still here written on chalkboard. Yes. Now solving this, I'll be having 3x minus 7, which is equal to 0, provide that x plus 1 is different from 0. Solving for x, I'll be having 3x equals 7, and the x is equal to 7 divided by 3. And here, x is different from minus 1. And the set of solution is 7 divided by 3. Are we together? Very nice. Now, let me give you a simple activity. Get your exercise book for one minute to solve this equation. x plus 2 times 2x minus 1 equals 0. And x times x minus 5 equals 0. We have just one minute. Go ahead. Are you done? Yes, few seconds. All right, now let us correct on chalkboard. Number one, x plus two times two x minus one equals zero. It means x plus two equals zero, or two x minus one equals zero. So x equals minus two, and here x equals two, a half. So the solution is minus two and a half. And the last, x times x minus 5 equals 0. This is a fact that means x equals 0. And x minus 5 equals 0. Then x equals 5. Set of solution is 0 and 5. Difficult? Not at all. Thank you very much. Now, I can't leave you like this. Let me give you a homework. 
The homework is here, solve in error. But even when I write solve simply without adding in error, it means you have to work in the set of real numbers. Then, number one, for y minus 6 is equal to 2y plus 8. 2, 7 times 3 minus 0.5k equals 3k minus 5. 3, x minus root of 3, result times x plus root of 2, result times x minus 2 pi equals 0. 4, 4 minus 3x times 12x plus 3 equals 0. 5, x minus 3 divided by x plus 3 equals 0. And the last is 1 minus 4x divided by x equals 0. Thank you very much for your participation. Thank you for your attention. I hope to meet you next time in the new lesson. I wish you all the best.